Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Sam, and this is going to be a new Modern Warfare 3 Tips and Tricks video. And this uh, Tips and Tricks I'm going to be showing you guys how to be pro with Drop Zone. So uh, let's go ahead and get into our class setup. Alright guys, so uh, welcome back to this gameplay. Uh, I do pretty good for Drop Zone. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and tell you about the game type Drop Zone. Alright, so Drop Zone is a game type that is fairly new. It's uh, They added it. It's uh, like a new game type. Uh, it's not like super new. It didn't just come out yesterday, but it's pretty new. Uh, where you have points on the map where like red smoke is coming out called the drop zone and you have to cover that drop zone like stay in it and as you can see you get like 20 points while you're on the drop zone and uh, so that helps uh, you get the points that you need to win the score is like 7500 uh, or 75,000 I think um, and you get these care packages if you stay on it long enough and they drop your kill streaks that's where you, uh, it it replaces your kill streak rewards basically so uh, that's a little bit about the game type. So now I'm going to be telling you about this class. All right, guys. So about this class, uh, what we're going to use in is the USAS 12, which is an awesome, awesome drop zone gun. All shotguns are great drop zone guns, because uh, usually in drop zone, you'll on the drop zone you'll have a lot of enemies on the drop zone, so you can just go in there and just like spray them down, and uh, that's really that's really really helpful. Um, and uh, so the MP9, it's it's just a secondary. So you, you, we always don't really use our secondaries that much. But I mean, when you do the MP9, it gets it done because it's almost an MP7. Uh, it has a good fire rate and good damage and everything. It's a great secondary. Uh, we're using the Simtex because, like I just said before, there's a lot of people that huddle up on those drop zones. So you can just chunk a Simt Simtex up there and get a few kills with it. The trophy system is there for us to put on the drop zone when we're covering it. So we don't just get like all pounded by a uh, predator missile or something. Uh, it's really helpful. Uh, you'll find out when you start playing and using it. It's really helpful because you can stay on the drop zone longer and win the game. Uh, slide of hand just because it's a great perk for shotguns and everything. Because you don't want to take like 8 hours to reload your shotgun. Uh, and especially in drop zone being such a fast paced game. You definitely do not want to be able to have to take ages to do that. Uh, blast shield because when you're covering your drop zone. You're going to need some protection against grenades and crap like in this game I do like survive a few grenades because of uh, blast shield because blast shield is an awesome perk if you guys haven't noticed in uh, drop zone because it's just like what I just said it's amazing uh, steady aim just because I think it's kind of mandatory on all shotguns because you're gonna spray with a shotgun really I mean the only time you see me aiming down the sights in this with a shotgun is when they don't see me so uh that's pretty much that for the uh, perks and uh, I'll just be telling you guys some tips right now Alrighty guys, so I'm going to be telling you guys a little bit more about the trophy system, a little bit more in depth. So uh, the trophy system, if you don't know what it is, it blocks like predator missiles from killing you. So when you're on the drop zone, you're going to need to place that on the drop zone when you're covering it. Because I can't even tell you how many times I've lost the drop zone because of a predator missile. Because the drop zones are so obvious. They just see like a bunch of people on the drop zone. They just know, oh look, I'm just going to go shoot my predator missile down here because it's AT. And it's just not a good thing. You need to have your Predator Missile. Um, also, the Blast Shield. Uh, blast Shield is so awesome on this because people will be chunking grenades after grenades after grenades after C4s after grenades after grenades after C4s after, C4s after grenades at you. And it is awful. Like, I can't even stand it when I don't have Blast Shield on because I just get pummeled with it because everyone is just owning me and everything. It's just pretty bad. So, uh, that's the end of this Tricks and Tips video. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. The uh, picture that you see after this is going to be a pretty long picture. You don't need to watch it or anything. You can just click away because that's just going to be the thumbnail. Uh, so I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe. Peace out.